Okay, guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for um, Taurus. This is going to be for your January 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We're going to take a look at the person that you're separated from, see if this person is going to come back. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, what will happen if you allow this person back into your life. Apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. It could be that this person is wondering this about you. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, for the collective uh, Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. The link for that, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too, on all those platforms, okay? So tell me about Taurus. Taurus, the person that Taurus is separated from. Um, will this person come back to tor towards Taurus? Will this person come back towards Taurus? Will this person come back towards Taurus for January 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus, for Taurus. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Four of Swords. Um, I feel like this person's waiting for you to recover from the Tower moment that happens between you guys here. Like, I feel like they're waiting for the right time to come back. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person's like really in love with you. They do want to bring this relationship back. They do want to rekindle this relationship here. But I feel like with the Nine of Swords here, they are worried. They know that things will never be the same again. Yeah, I do feel like they don't want this tower to fall. I, I feel like they don't want this tower moment to define what the future looks like for you guys. You know, I feel like this person wants to work on you know, working past this. Not quite sure what this tarot moment was. I feel like it was really abrupt. Could be a situation that the tarot moment is that this person was basically not serious about the connection here with you. This person was messing around. This person was uh, f uh, putting you in the friends of benefit zone here. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles here, this person definitely wants a new beginning. They feel like they made a mistake here with you, okay? You know, I feel like, Taurus, I feel like, you, I feel like you might be in this energy of like, you could take that pentacle and shove it up your butt here. Yeah, I feel like, you, you know, I feel like some of you guys are just not interested. Some of you guys are not interested here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ten of Cups and the Hermit, Virgo energy. Nine of Swords and the King of Wands here, Aries and the Sag. This person's realizing that they made a huge mistake here. They're kind of like looking back at the whole situation, looking back what uh, what they've done here, and they feel like this person realized that they made a mistake. Now that they made this mistake, now they really truly want to commit with you. They want they you know they want to be together here with you. They only want you. Seems like this person wasn't really quite ready to give up their freedom, and now they're getting the free like they're getting. They're uh, all the freedom that they want, and now they're not okay with you because they're not okay with it because now they're you're not in their life, you're not communicating with them, and they feel like they miss that here, uh, Taurus. What else do we have for, for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on for January 2024? Uh, what will happen if Taurus allowed this person back into their life for January 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Ace of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. And we have the Four of Cups and the Fool. Four of Cups and the Fool. Aries energy, Aquarius energy here. And then we have the Knight of Cups here and the Sun. They just want everything to go back to the way that was before without all the other people getting involved. I feel like they want the dynamics back again. Like, I feel like this person really enjoyed, you know, showering you with gifts, sweeping, you know, sweeping off your feet. 
you know, taking care of you and stuff like that, because I feel like this person does have the capabilities of doing that here, but I just feel like this person definitely was dealing with other people here, okay? Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Wands here and the King, we have the Kings of Queen of Pentacles here. This person definitely just wants some workings out here with you. I feel like this person is like in this energy of like Taurus, no matter what it takes, I'm gonna fix this. We're gonna make things work here. I'm telling you the truth. You are my person. I'm sorry for what I did here, but I actually could see you kind of like distracting yourself and not really giving this person the time of the day here. Yeah, I feel like this person's gonna feel a bit rejected here, okay? I feel like this person's gonna feel really confused. I feel like this person's gonna feel a little bit lost without you, feeling lonely without you here. I mean, they definitely wanna make peace with you. They definitely want to make the second chance count. But I feel like maybe this person could be coming back too soon because I feel like you quite haven't really quite recovered or will recover in order for you to have some sort of conversation with this person here. I just feel like the conversation is not gonna go quite well because I feel like you're not ready for it. I feel like you need more time to recover here. And I do feel like this person might rush back in very prematurely. You could have been in this energy of like, I don't want any contact with you. And this person's like, okay, I respect that. But I feel like this person's definitely getting into this like the very impulsive energy without really considering what you guys agreed on. And I feel like this person will break no contact here with you. This person br will break no contact here with you. Let's see what else we have. We have the seven of pentacles here, the king of cups. We have the three, yeah, it seems like this person's definitely learning from their mistakes here. They're definitely manifesting a successful reconciliation here with you, uh, Taurus. So we have the seven of pentacles, the king of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the three of cups here, and the magician here. Yeah, I just feel like you just don't trust what this person's saying here. You're turning your back on this, you're moving on. You know, I just feel like you don't care if this person spies on you. I just feel like you're just gonna tell this person to take that pentacle and shove it up their butts. Yeah, I just feel like you just don't wanna deal with this person. Yeah, so uh, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.